Hi guys and welcome to today's tutorial. So I've been wanting to try this turquoise stone nail out for quite a while. This is really quick and simple to do with the Magpie Inkies. So if you want to find out how I created this then just stay tuned. So I'm going to start off with Magpie Gel Colour Jeez Louise. It's this really nice bright turquoise colour. I looked at quite a lot of different turquoise stone images to make sure that my um, colour was right and this was the one that I came to. Then I'm going to cure that in my lamp for 60 seconds. Then I'm going to do a second layer. This is quite an opaque colour. You might not have to do two layers. Obviously if it's on a natural nail I would always do two. Um, but it's really nice and opaque, but I'm going to cure this for 60 seconds in my Magpie lamp. So I'm going to be using the Magpie inkies. I've got black, gold, clear and white. And once my second layer has been cured, I'm going to wipe off the inhibition layer with Prep and Dehydrate, making sure it's nice and matte. There's no oils or anything like that on the nail. And I'm going to start off by using my black Magpie Inky. So and I'm going to go in a diagonal direction. This is just for me how I see the majority of the gemstones. Um, so obviously that's what I wanted to do with it. And I'm just kind of patting this on, splodging it on, going in the opposite corner as well and bringing it down and across. We're going to be building this nail up in layers, so I'm adding quite a bit of black, but I'm going to be um, adding some things on top. So I'm going to use my clear Magpie Inky to disperse some of this black. You can use Prep and Dehydrate to disperse Magpie Inkies. I just find that using the clear works better, but you can use Prep and Dehydrate if you want to. And Obviously I'm just dispersing some of this black, making sure it's not so prominent. Then I'm going to be getting the white Magpie Inky. After I've shaken this well and really um, brushed off the excess I'm dragging this along the nail rather than doing that patting motion and this is basically diluting a bit of that black for me because like I said we want to build this up in layers I want there to be a depth to this nail so after the white I'm going to use the black again I'm obviously not going to go all over the white that I've just done but I'm going to add a bit more black um, to spots that I want a bit more of that colour. And obviously with the black, come back to that patting motion. Then I'm going to be getting the gold and I'm going to be using this in the same way as I use the white in that dragging motion. This is basically just to add that gold bit of shimmer to the nail. You could essentially use a gel paint or a gel polish um, but I just like how this adds that bit of gold shimmer especially to the middle of the nail. Then I'm just going to go back in with a little bit of the black. And then again with the clear to disperse that. Obviously we don't want to disperse all of this as this is our last layer. We do want some of that black to be shining through. So this is how it looks at the minute. Then I'm going to be grabbing my Magpie Give Me Strength to encapsulate this. I like to use this on top of the inkies and majority of my nail art just because it really does secure everything that you've just done 
and then I will be curing this for 60 seconds in my magpie lamp. And then just to finish off, I'm going to use Magpie Don't Be Tacky. This is the no wipe top coat. So this is obviously just to finish off that nail, leaving it super shiny. And I'll of course be curing this for 60 seconds in my Magpie lamp. So then there you have your finished turquoise stone nail. Like I said, it's super easy to do. It's all about adding it in layers. Um, I really enjoyed doing this nail as well. Like I said, it's something I've wanted to do for ages and I think it looks awesome. So I hope that you like this tutorial, guys. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you all again soon. Bye.